isang magandang magandang araw po sa inyo mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, doing all for the gospel. At uh, sa ngalan po ng ating mga kasamahang pari sa Society of St. Paul, mga brothers, mga junior professed members, at ang atin pong mga seminarista sa Pilipinas at sa Macau, at gayon din po kasama ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at gayon po ng TV Maria, ang atin pong mission partner. Muli namin kayong inaanyayahan ngayon pong ikadalawa ng Hunyo taong 2019. Ito po ang unang linggo ng Hunyo, ang ikaanim na buwan ng taong 2019. So tayo po ay kumakalahati na sa taong ito. And uh, ito po ang ikapito, no? Seventh Sunday of Easter. At para po sa atin sa Pilipinas, ang Seventh Sunday of Easter, dito po natin sinecelebrate ang Solemnity of the Lord's Ascension, ang dakilang kapistahan ng pag-akyat ng Panginoong Jesus sa kalangitan. Ito rin po ang Catholic Communications Sunday. Uh, Taon-taon, simula po ng uh, Santo Papang si Pope Paul VI, tuwing Ascension Sunday, ay ginagawa ang panalangin para po sa komunikasyon. Mamaya po sa ating pagninilay, sa mga readings of the day, lalo po nating maintindihan kung bakit nakaugnay sa Ascension ang Catholic Communications Sunday. Binabati nga pala natin at uh, isinasama po natin sa ating mga prayer intentions, mga kasambuhay, ang ating pong mga homebound na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po ang ating mga kapatid na mga cancer patients, no? yung iba't ibang mga support group ng cancer patients po, yung grupo ni Charity, no? at gayon din po ang grupo ni na Lisa, ni Eleonor no at saka ni uh, Yoli jet po sa Makati Medical. Yun din po, we would like to pray for the elderly, yung mga lolo, lola no. At gayon din po yung mga umaasikaso sa inyo na mga kamag-anakan o mga professional caregivers. We'd like also to pray for persons on duty, yung ating pong mga militar, kapulisan, mga doktor at mga health workers na sa nasa mga ER at siyempre po lalong-lalo na ang atin pong mga OFWs. Yan, overseas Filipino workers na kung tawagin po natin ay overseas faith witnesses. Yan, kasi dala-dala nila ang kanilang spirituality, ang kanilang panalangin, ang kanilang pananampalataya. Ganyan naman ang Pilipino eh, no? Ha? And we'd like to pray also and greet yung atin pong mga mission partners dyan po sa Canada. Sa pangunguna po ni Brother Alex Fideris. Ayan. At dyan naman po sa ating mga long time na mga kasambuhay. Si Leslie Masigan, si Miguel, si Sammy, si Jake. Yan po mga anak ni Leslie. Si Tony at Lourdes Choa ang kanilang uh, mga anak at mga apo, ha? si Ed at Norma Arrojado, si George at Noemi Villarus, kasama po ang kanilang uh, CPA office, si Didith at Joey Jacob, si Mariel Diaz ng Standard Marketing and Trading, ang kusina ni Kambal ni Irma at ni Delio San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong, Uh, gayon din po ang grupo po ni Alma Gonzales, ang kanyang buong pamilya, uh, dyan po sa Los Angeles, no? sa California. At uh, gayon din po si na Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban, at Leilani Palladio Himotea. We would like also to pray para po sa ating mga pilgrimage groups, no? ang spell group ng March 2019 Pilgrims. Gayun din po ang uh, yellow group ng uh, Holy Land Pilgrims ng October 2018. Yan. 
grupo po ng mga jubilarians, ng mga recoletos, no? uh, Merino All Missionaries, si Father Joy. At gayon din, siyempre, ang grupo ni na uh, Geraldine, si Grace, uh, si uh, Jane, ayan, si Nino, ha? si uh, uh, Albert, uh, si Benji, no? Datok. Gayon din po ang uh, grupo ni na Anton at Juliet, no? At um, ang grupo ni Chrissy, ni Highland, yan. Si Rosely at si Rosebell at si William, ang grupo na ng mga Tantuiko, yan. Si Dana, si Kathleen at si Tal. At gayon din po si Grace, uh, Pulido Tan at si Nonoy Tan. Of course, we would like to include in our prayers ang intentions po ng Recto family at ang kanila pong mga kaibigan na nakasama din po natin sa pilgrimage naman ng March 2019. Diyan din po sa Holy Land. Kasama po riyan si Pearl at si Rafi Rodriguez. Yan, ha? Of course, uh, we would like also to acknowledge ang ilan pong mga messages na dumating sa atin pong Facebook account. Si Maria Bida Hasmin, we continue to pray for Kyle Adriel, no? na nawa ay hipuin, paliitin, tunawin ng Diyos ang tumor no? ng batang ito. Nagpadala po ng picture itong si Maria Bida Hasmin ng, uh, uh, et, ng, uh, etong si Kyle. No? Ta talaga naman napakabata pa ho, no? We'd like to really pray for uh, this uh, intention of total healing from the tumor. Si Lilibet Anoche ay uh, uh, nagpapasalamat sa nagpupuri sa Diyos sa lahat ng kanyang natanggap. Si Reza Tamara, Tam, Tamala, uh, nais niyang ipanalangin po natin ang kanyang Papa Domingo, ang kanyang Mama Erenea, at gayon din po ang lahat ng mga namayapa na mga kamag-anakan. Si Marjorie Villarmino, nais niyang ipanalangin po natin ang kanyang dalawang anak, ang kanyang kalusugan. Siya po ay isang OFW dyan po sa Riyadh, sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Si Tony Igaya ay uh, nagpupurit, nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sa lahat ng biyaya. At uh, sabi niya, naway patuloy na gabayan at patnubayan ng Panginoon ang mga OFWs ng mga Pilipino. Siyempre na mapagmalasakit sa pamilya. Si Viola Cachuela, yan, ay uh, nananalangin po ng immediate healing para po sa kanyang mother. Si Hazel Claire Talania, nais naman pong ipanalangin ang health ng kanyang mom at dad. Gayon din po ang kanyang uh, healing from asthma at back pain. No? Si Reis Arquero, uh, nagpapasalamat kay Lord sa lahat ng gabay na binibigay ng Panginoon at uh, sabi niya naway patuloy siyang bigyan ng Panginoon ng mga biyayang kailangan niya sa araw-araw. Siya po ay nakikisambuhay sa atin mula po sa Daman sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Si Maria Socorro Fuentes, healing for Claro and lahat po ng may sakit, lahat ng matatanda, lahat ng mga dying and kanya eternal repose para kay Evelina, Hiliodoro, Artemeo, at lahat po ng mga kaluluwa sa purgatory, lalo-lalo na po yung mga nakalimutan na ng kanyang mga kamag-anakan. Si Amy Salonga, yan, is also praying to the Lord for uh, various intentions para lalo-lalo na sa kanyang apat na mga anak. Si Evita Kam, Kanya, we'd like to pray for your mom who died April 20, 2019. I missed her so much, sabi niya. Si um, Maureen uh, Barido, nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon para sa kanyang strong family 
Ngunit siya rin po'y humihiling ng patuloy na blessings, no? Lalo-lalo na po kanya sa lahat ng mga moms. Siya po ay nandyan sa Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Registered nurse yata itong si Maureen Barido. Okay, so ngayon po pinagdiriwang natin, gaya ng aking po sinabi, itong Solemnity of the Ascension. Sa ibang mga bansa, ito po'y uh, pinagdiwang na nung Webes. No? Kasi ka binibilang talaga nila yung 40 days after Easter. Pero sa atin po sa Pilipinas, kinoconvert natin ang dakilang kapistahan ng pag-akyat ng Panginoon to the nearest Sunday. Kaya po instead of the Oh, instead of the seventh Sunday in ordinary time or oh, seventh Sunday of Easter uh, dito natin ginagawa yung solemnity of the ascension now ang, ang maganda po sa mga pagbasa natin ngayon eh, pinapaliwanag sa atin ano ba itong dapat nating ma-appreciate about the ascension so sa first reading, Acts chapter 1, verse 1 to 11, uh, sabi po sa ating first reading mula sa Salaysay ni San Lucas, ang ascension daw ay naganap 40 days after the resurrection. And uh, maliban po dyan, sa first reading, connected ito sa pangako ng pagbababa ng Espiritu Santo sapagkat ang ascension po ay hindi po the end. Ayun, no? Uh, kung sa sine, hindi yan katapusan. Katapusan ng buhay ni Jesus sa mundo. Pero hindi po ito ang katapusan ng lahat. In fact, nais po ng Panginoon na ang sinimulan niyang misyon ay ituloy-tuloy ng mga alagad. Yan nga po ang sinabi ng dalawang anghel do sa mga alagad. Men of Galilee, why are you standing up there looking at the sky? Bakit kayo nakatunganga? Oh, di ba? Sabi niya, and ang ascension hindi po pagtunganga, the end. Hindi. Kung hindi, oo. Sabi nga ng Psalm 47, God mounts his throne to shouts of joy. Ang ascension ay pagluklok, pagupo ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanyang trono, sa kanan ng Ama. However, yan, sa ating napaagandang second reading, sabi po ng Panginoon, ang ascension may message sa atin. Okay? Anong message ng ascension sa atin? O, oh. Sa pamamagitan ng ascension, maliban sa misyon na binibigay ng Panginoon sa atin, number one sa second reading, through the ascension of Jesus, nakikita po natin the hope that belongs to our call. O, ang pag-asa na iwinawagayway po sa atin ng Diyos kung tayo'y tapat. Tulad ni Jesus, uupo rin tayo, luluklok din tayo. Pangalawa, the riches of glory that is our inheritance. Ayan, ho? And then pangatlo, the surpassing greatness of His power for us who believe. Ayan. So, dapat yung ascension po ng Panginoon talagang ito'y maging encouragement sa atin pong mga misyon. No? Na may nakalaan na lugar may naka-reserve na lugar para po sa atin, di ba? So, meron po talagang RSVP na lugar para sa atin sa langit. At ito po ay sinimulan ng Panginoong Yesus sa kanya pong paglukluk sa kanan ng Ama. Now, sa Gospel reading naman po natin, sabi doon, sapagkat nakita ng mga alagad ang exaltation, ang pagtatanghal sa Panginoong Yesus sa pamagitan sa kanyang pag-akyat sa langit, they were inspired with joy and worship. Yan. So, yan po ang source ng ating 
tunay na pagsamba. Whenever we worship, we should always look at the glory of God. Bakit kailangan sambahin ang Diyos? Sapagkat siya ngayon ay nasa kanyang kalwalhatian. Yan. So, the glory of God in the ascension ought to be the reason for our own worship and joy. Yan. Kaya, if you believe in the ascension, keep smiling, keep praying, keep hoping, oh, and then go on a mission. Yan. So, sana po itong uh, ascension na ito talagang renewal po natin sa atin pong enthusiasm na talagang maging mga witnesses, mga saksi ng Panginoong Hesus sa ating mga gawain araw-araw. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa ngayon pong unang linggo ng Hunyo Kapistahan ng Asensyon ng Panginoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate Ascension Sunday, that glorious event when the risen Christ goes up to heaven to take his place at the right hand of the Father. In his exaltation, Christ receives sovereign authority and power over creation and all history. But the Ascension is also a saving event for us. It is much better for you that I go. If I go, I will send the paraclete to you. The reason Christ continues to work with us amid our current situations in life. Today, we also mark the celebration of the 53rd World Communications Day with the theme, We are members one of another, Ephesians 4, verse 25. From social network communities, to the human community. May we recognize ourselves as members of the one body of Christ and see each other not as competitors but as persons. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving, for the ascension of Christ to our Son is our exaltation. And where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he has taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all the earth. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blast, Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nation, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting knowledge in him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, which 
he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens. Far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him as head over all things to the church, which is the body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead, and on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name to all the nations. Beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. And behold, I am sending you the promise of my Father upon you. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands, and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple praising God. Sisters and brothers, my dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Kadang araw po sa ating mga kasambuhay all over the world na kasama nating nagdiriwang ng ating banal na misa. Ngayon po ay solemnity of the ascension of the Lord, pag-akyat ni Jesus sa langit. At kung tayo po ay Nagahatid sa airport ng ating mahal sa buhay, marami na pong pagkakataon na naranasan natin kung paano tayo ay mapagbilinan noong ating inihahatid na paalis, pasakay ng aeroplano. Sasabihin sa mga mahal sa buhay, o oh, habang wala ako anak, pagpapakabait kayo. Susunod kayong mabuti sa lolo, lola ninyo, o kaya sa nanay o sa tatay ninyo, at ako'y babalik. Samantala, gawin ninyong mabuti yung inyong pag-aaral o inyong pababayaan at tutulong kayo dito sa bahay. Ganyan ang mga karaniwang uh, naririnig nating bilin ng mga umaalis. Si Jesus, habang siya po ay Uh, umaakyat uh, siya ay tinitingala ng mga alagad pero bago yon sila ay binigyan ng mahigpit na bilin ng Panginoon ang sabi sa kanila maghintay kayo dahil ipapadala ko sa inyo ang kapangyarihan mula sa itaas I'm going to send you power from on high the Holy Spirit yun po ang kanilang hihintayin itong uh, panahong ito. No? Kaya sa darating pong linggo, yun na po ang kaganapan ng promise ni Jesus. Ipapadala na niya ang Holy Spirit. Samantala, ngayon po, sila ay maghihintay. Hindi po naghihintay lang na nakanganga, kung hindi naghihintay na punong-puno ng kaligayahan sa puso. Sabi po dito sa ating Ebanghelyo at sila ay palagi raw nasa templo at uh, nagpupuri sa Panginoon. Ngayon po, tayo naman sa panahon natin, habang naghihintay tayo ng panibagong bugso, pag, panibagong pagpapadala ng Holy Spirit sa ating sariling sitwasyon, 
tayo rin po ay inaasahan na gumanap, gampanan natin yung ating mga tungkulin sa ating bahay, sa ating lugar ng trabaho, sa ating pamayanan, sa ating bansa. Hindi po nakahalukip-kip lang na naghihintay o nakanganga kung hindi trabaho pa rin. Trabaho ng trabaho. At ito pong linggong ito ay tinatawag nating uh, Sunday of uh, co- Communication uh, Sunday, uh, World Communication Sunday. At uh, tayo po ngayon ay uh, nasa uh, 30, patingin nga isang buhay. Uh, ito po ay i- ipinasimula ipina ni Pope Paul VI. No? Ito po ang ating 53rd World Communications Day. Yan. At ang tema po sa taong ito ay Humanizing the Internet. Habang tayo po ay naghihintay sa pagdating ng Holy Spirit, binigyan po tayo ng misyon ng ating Santo Papa. Taon-taon meron pong tema pero ang sabi nga po nila ito ang isa sa pinaka makapangyarihang tema ng World Communication Sunday kasi kakaiba po ito humanizing the internet at kinuha po ang inspiration ng tema natin mula sa letter of St Paul to the Ephesians 4:25 we are members one of another from social network communities to the human communities Ang kabuod lang po nitong ah, mensahe ng ating Santo Papa ay sana kung nakakabuo man tayo ng human, ah, ng social network, ah, marami tayong mga kaibigan through social media, marami tayong communication, ah, pero sana yung communication na yon ay human community pa rin. Ah, hindi lamang siya sa antas o level ng social communication kung hindi ang kabuuan noon tayo ay makita natin ang isa't isa na mga tao pa rin. Tao na ang kinakailangan ay respeto, tulungan, hindi competition, sabi nga. Ito po yung ilang punto ng letter ng ating Santo Papa. Ang sabi po niya, ang internet ay hindi dapat pagmumulan ng maling impormasyon. Yan, mga fake news. Kawawa nga yung ating mga OFWs kasi umaasa lang sila sa social media. Eh alam niyo naman sa social media, nag- magkahalo yung tinatawag na mabuting buto at saka yung damo. The weeds and the wheat. Magkahalo. Merong totoo, merong fake news. Eh kung minsan, Ang nasusumpungan nila yung mga fake news, nakagulat-gulat, kala nila totoo. Kaya nag-aalala tuloy sila tungkol sa ating bansa. Ang internet, wag daw pagsimula ng maling impormasyon. Ang internet din, sabi po ng ating Santo Papa sa kanyang mensahe, hindi dapat ginagamit para manipulahin ang mga tao kaugnay ng politika o para sa pinansyal. At hindi rin dapat manipulahin samantalang hindi iginagalang ang tao at ang kanyang karapatan. Yan ang mga paalala ng ating Santo Papa. Hindi rin daw po dapat gamitin ang internet sa cyber bullying. Alam niyo naman siguro yung bully, no? Yung nagmamalakas, uh, no? nagmamalaki at kaya kang api-apihin. No? Pwedeng gamitin yan sa internet cyberbullying hindi rin daw dapat uh, epektibo lamang daw po ang internet kapag lahat ng gumagamit nito ay gumagamit ng may responsibilidad may responsibilidad hindi yung lahat ng sama ng loob mo lahat ng galit mo doon mo ikukulapol sa social media magsasabog ka ng alimuum Kailangan daw ho, maging responsable tayo sa pagkamit ng social media. Yung away nyo ng kapitbahay mo, hindi mo na ibobroadcast doon. Yung alita ninyo, hindi ka makasingil ng utang niya, eh, ibabarandra mo doon sa internet. wag naman. 
O kaya, meron kang dinagustuhan sa kapitbahay mo, pakukunan mo ng video, ia-upload mo, sisiraan mo yung kapitbahay mo. Hindi pwedeng ganun. Huwag daw alisin ang pagiging uh, makatao. Yung respeto, paggalang sa isa't isa at sa karapatan ng ating kapwa. At uh, sabi po dito, uh, ang mga network communities ay hindi raw ho automatically nagiging mga tunay na communities. No? Kung ito ay nagkakahiwahiwalay sa mga tao o nagkakanya-kanya ang mga tao. Kasi di ba sa internet may mga grupong ganito, no? grupong ganyan. No? Hindi porkit sila ay gumawa ng isang grupo, masasabi natin na sila ay human communities kasi po pwedeng gagamitin nila yung grupo nilang yon para ibash yung kabilang grupo. Nagigituloy uh, competition o kaya awayan. Hindi nagiging human communities. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, organisado kami, meron kaming grupo, meron kaming pangalan, meron kaming mga miyembro, eh masasabi na kaagad na human community yun. Hindi. Kasi for all we know, ang ginagawa ninyo baka inhuman. Pag nagkakalat nga kayo ng mga fake news at mga paninira at dinidivide nyo ang pamayanan o ang bansa, ha? hindi yan nagiging human communities. At ito raw ho, tulungan daw natin ang mga kabataan. Kasi ngayon, mga kabataan, ang dali-dali para sa mga kabataan ang makakonek. Isang pindot lang, nakakakonek ka na. Isang Uh, pindot mo lang, maaari mo na kaagad ma-message yung isang tao. Nagkakaroon daw tuloy ng isang illusion na, na porkit madali kang makakonek, ay meron ka ng malalim na ugnayan sa taong yon. Akala mo, close na kayo. No? Porkit uh, inaccept ka na maging friend. No? Nagigig ka ng, uh, nagkakaroon ka na ng illusion. No? na close kami. No? Pagkatapos, pag hindi naman, uh, hindi niya naramdaman na talagang close sila, kung minsan ay nadidisappoint yung kabataan. No? Kaya tulungan daw po natin sila na huwag magkaroon ng illusion that just because you have the power to connect, you can already establish deep and meaningful relationships. At panghuli, sabi po ng ating Santo Papa, sa paggamit ng internet, meron daw pong panganib na ang mga tao ay maging pulo-pulo. The risk of isolation or alienation from society. Ako lang o kami lang. Hiwalay sa karamihan. May sarili kaming mundo. Kaming mundo ng magaganda o mundo ng matatalino, no? o mundo ng mga matatakaw, no? gumagawa ng uh, sariling mundo. No? So, ito po yung um, ba- laman ng mensahe ng ating Santo Papa ngayon pong 53rd World Communications Day. Tandaan natin, habang naghihintay tayo sa panibagong bugso ng pagdating ng Holy Spirit, tinu- tinuturoan tayo ng Panginoon na maghintay. Maghintay sa pamamagitan ng pagtupad sa ating mga tungkulin ng buong katapatan. At kung ang Panginoon man daw po ay umakit sa langit, tandaan natin, hindi, hindi po kagaya ng katawan natin ang katawan ngayon ni Jesus. Maaring nandoon nga siya sa langit, pero hindi ibig sabihin, hindi na natin siya makikita dito. Hindi ibig sabihin, hindi na natin siya kasama. Iba nga ho eh. Pwedeng umakyat siya, pero narito pa rin siya. Yun ang hiwaga ng Panginoong umakyat sa langit. Sabi nga natin sa ating panalangin, He has passed beyond our sight. Lampas sa ating paningin. Not to abandon us, but to be our hope. Christ is the beginning the head of the church, where he has gone, we hope to follow. Kung saan man daw po siya pumunta, 
inaasahan natin tayo naman sa kanya ay susunod. Susunod. So, siya po ang ating pag-asa to be our hope, not to abandon us, hindi yung kabawa ka naman, iniwang ka. No? Not to abandon us, but to be our hope. May the good Lord continue to bless us. Tumayo po tayo para sa ating uh, pananampalataya. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Entering heaven, Christ appears before God on our behalf. We therefore pray to the Father Almighty with a sincere heart and in absolute trust as we say, Graciously hear us, O Lord. Graciously hear us, O Lord. That the people of God may set their eyes to the things of heaven and follow the Lord Jesus in mind and heart, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord. That government and civil leaders may always use the social media to speak the truth, promote solidarity and dialogue, and put away falsehoods, which creates divisions and hatred, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord. That communication professionals, parents, and educators may use wisdom and discernment in the use of the media since their decisions greatly affect young people, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord. That there may be more practical initiatives aimed at eliminating the risk posed by the media to the well-being of the children and may children always find in the media a source of support, encouragement, and inspiration, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord. That all who are engaged in the media may recognize that they truly are stewards and administrators of an immense spiritual power that belongs to the patrimony of humanity and is meant to enrich the human community, we pray. Graciously hear us, O Lord. God our Father, as we rejoice in the ascension of your Son, fill us with hope in this life. May we be your faithful witnesses now until the time we join you in heaven forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name 
for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most, most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gaze in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic cause sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold Jesus, the risen Christ, who today ascends into heaven. He takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake in this holy banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. For those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen.
Prayer of Overseas Workers. Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God, and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right, because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. I have to leave for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to leave to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who allowed those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your head and pray for God's blessings. May Almighty God bless you, for on this very day, His only begotten Son pierced the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. May He grant that as Christ, after His resurrection, was seen plainly by His disciples, so when He comes as judge, He may show Himself merciful to you for all eternity. Amen. And may you who believe he is seated with the Father in his majesty know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. Amen. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you, the blessings of the Father and the Son, and may the Spirit of God, the Spirit of love, be with you all the way. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.
maraming salamat sa ating pong paring tagapagdiwang ng ating pong mass para po sa Ascension Sunday. Ngayon po ay dadako sa tayo sa ating pong pabaon na katikismo. And for this, nais ko pong tunghayan yung atin pong mensahe mula kay Pope Francis, kaugnay po ng pagdiriwang ngayon ng 53rd, ika uh, limang put tatlo, no? limang put tatlong, uh, 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 limang put tatlong linggo ng World Communication Day, 53rd World Communications Day. And um, gaya po na narinig natin, ang communication ay iniuugnay ng simbahan sa ascension sapagkat sabi nga ng Panginoon, ang kanyang pag-akyat sa langit ay hindi po the end kung hindi ito'y simula naman ng gawain ng mga alagad to be witnesses, communicators ng good news. Yan. Dito po sa binibigay na mensahe ni Pope Francis, sabi niya, sa atin pong usapin ng communication ngayon, dapat nating tignan yung social network na nagiging isang malakas na poder ng komunikasyon ngayon sa ating panahon. And uh, kanya, hindi nga pwede po nating isa-isang tabi ang internet, ang cyberspace, ang network sapagkat ito ngayon ang talagang talamak at uh, napakalakas na pamamaraan ng komunikasyon. No? And um, it exists, of course, side by side with traditional communication. Ngayon, ang point po ni Pope Francis, dapat kung tunay na komunikasyon ang hinahanap po natin, dapat itong uh, mga social networks na ito, kanya, must begin to let us encounter people, a favorite word of Pope Francis, encounter people, and be in solidarity with them. Yan, dalawang salita. Encounter and solidarity. Kasi kanya, dapat ang komunikasyon hindi lang technical, okay? Kung hindi, talagang inter- personal bumubuo ito ng community communication community no um, of course napakahalaga po ang social networks ngayon hindi po natin maikakaila diyan nang gagaling ang information knowledge at para po sa marami ito ang nang pinanggagalingan din ng mga relationships no yung mga dating mga high school uh, na mga classmates, high school na mga friends na matagal na hindi nagkita, uh, nagkikita sa pamagitan po ng uh, social networks, ng Facebook, etc. However, sabi po ni Pope Francis, itong social networks na ito ng communication, kung hindi po natin iingatan, they also can become a threat pwedeng maging hadlang din po ito at panggagalingan din, sabi ni Pope Francis, ng disinformation, distortion of facts, no? manipulation of personal data na ginagamit for political and economic advantages. <laughs> no? Pamilyar tayo dyan sa Pilipinas. No? And then, kanya, Maraming beses pa, dito sa social network na ito, lalo-lalo na sa mga kabataan, one in every four, yan po ang research, sabi ni Pope Francis, nagiging uh, case of cyberbullying ang social network. Now, ang maganda po dito sa letter ni Pope Francis for World Communication Day, Ascension Day, ngayon po, the 53rd, sabi niya, siguro makakatulong kung gagamit tayo ng mga images. Yan. Images. Larawan. Upang sa ganon, gabayan ang atin pong paggamit. Gabayan ang atin pong 
tamang paggamit nang sa ganon ang ating mga social networks ay maging resource. Yan, no? Ginamit din po ni Pope Francis yan. Dapat resource ito. Means upang mas maging maganda ang atin pong mga communities. At tatlong images ang iniiwan po ni Pope Francis. Number one kanya, the image of the net. Kaya nga network. Kaya nga dot net. Bakit? Kasi ito'y, pag sinabi mong net, ito ay multiplicity. Lines, intersections, di ba? Parang yung net, no? Ah, sala, sa labat, no? Sala, sa labat na intersection, sala, sa labat na linya. Therefore, nobody should control. Oh, wala pong dapat na maging hierarchical, vertical center ang social media. Kaya po, mali yung ginagawa ng iba na gusto nilang kontrolin, pagharian uli ang social media. Abi, pinagharian na nga nila ang politika. Pinagharian na nga nila ang business. O, oh, yung ibang mga TV at uh, radio networks, pinagharian na nga ng iilan. Ang maganda po sa social network, net, lahat. Samot sari, sala sa labat at ito ang stability, sabi po ni Pope Francis ng social network. Walang isaman na mayroong control, walang sentro. Lahat ay contributor. So yun po ang unang mahalagang metaphor ng paggamit ng social media. The metaphor of the net. Pangalawa, kanya, the image of community. Hindi lang po tayo nagkakaroon ng ugnayan, contact. Yan, contacts. Yan. Kung hindi, dapat kanya, community ang binubuo natin sa pamamagitan po ng social network. No? Hindi ito sinasubstitute ang community. Ito dapat maging bahagi ng pagbuo ng community. Sabi nga niya, dapat ang simbahan, ginagamit yung social network para pagkatapos niyan, magse-celebrate sila ng mas mabuti bilang simbahan. Dapat ang pamilya, ginagamit ang social network upang magkaugnayan sila saan saan man sila, pero magkikita pa rin sila, kanya ng pang, na, ni Pope Francis, sa hapagkainan. Dapat resource ang social network. Ang aim natin is a stronger community. And therefore, in the use of the social media, kailangan po merong mutual listening, mutual dialogue, and responsibility of language. Yan. Ingatan natin yung ginagamit po natin ng mga lingwahe. Kahit tinetext mo lang yan, may dating yan. No? Yung iba, napaka tactless, napaka-careless, napaka-emotionless kapag gumagamit po ng social media. So, please, no? Wag ho nating gamitin ang social media upang maghasik ng hatred kung hindi nanawa ito'y maging pamamaraan upang tandaan, i-emphasize ang atin pong unity. Yan. Ang pangatlong image Net, community, pangatlo, sabi ni Pope Francis, dapat tinitignan natin ang bawat isa sa social media na body and members. Yan. Tayo po ay bumubuo ng iisang katawan. Tayong lahat ay kabahagi. Tayong lahat ay miyembro ng iisang katawan. We are members of one another. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 25. At kung members of one another, dapat sa social media, nandun yung tinatawag po natin na malasakit. Yan. Pag hindi, magkakasakitan po tayo. Dapat ang tingin natin sa bawat isa sa social media ay hindi po potential competitor. O, yan po ang words ni Pope Francis. 
not to see people as potential competitors, but even our enemies to look at them as friends, as persons, and therefore affirm interpersonal humanity and invest on relationships. At uh, sabi po ni Pope Francis, dapat hindi lang like. Ha? Uh, like, like, like. How many likes? No. Sabi niya, the, for the Christian, it must be amen. Ah, yon. Pag sinabi mo kasing like, para bang, wala, tingin mo lang doon sa tao eh, wala, another presentation, another number. Yan. Pero pag sinabi mong amen, yan, ikaw po ay uma-affirm doon sa kaibahan and yet value netong taong ito who is present in social media networks. So, ngayon naman po ay uh, titignan po natin ang uh, iba't iba pang mga uh, puntos na yan ni Pope Francis. Babalikan natin yung Laudato Si sa susunod na atin pong sambuhay Sunday TV Mass. We would like to invite you now to be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator sa pa iba't ibang paraan. Unang-una po, you can be a sambuhay, kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by your love offerings. No, Maraming salamat po do sa mga regular na nagpapadala. Pangalawa, you can be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by texting us yung inyo pong mga mass intentions, mga short feedbacks, sharing, nasa screen po natin ang ating text number. And of course, you can be a kasambuhay Pauline Cooperator by spreading the apostolate, spreading the news. Kaya nasa screen naman po natin ang mga iba't ibang cable channels na gamit po ng TV Maria. Gayun din po, ang iba't ibang mga cyberspace account sa Facebook, lalo lalo na, at sa YouTube. Ito po'y ipakilala natin sa ating mga kaibigan, sa ating mga uh, friends and relatives, lalo lalo na sa abroad, para po sa pamagitan ng mga connections na ito, we will grow together in the Word of God. Uh, ngayon po, sa ngalan po ni uh, Father Resti de la Peña, ni Cleric Edward Dantes at Kib de Mataktak ng St. Paul Audiovisuals at Sambuhay TV, Doing All for the Gospels, ay iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang prayer na ito ni Blessed James Alberione to spend the week well. My dear and my sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me. Guard my mind, my heart, my senses, that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you. Jesus and Mary, give me your most holy blessings. Oh, my Lord, oh, my Lord.